Thank you, thank you, ladies, for giving me a couple of minutes to talk about this, this fascinating, this wonderful project. So, how are you, ladies? Yeah, Fine, well, thank, thank you. you. How are you, how you doing? Pretty good. So let me start with you, Lauren. Um, this this series uh, deals with with tragedy, with loss, uh, with uh, grief, and on top of that, your character is very complex. So it, she has to deal with with different emotions. One day she's super cheery, other day she's depressed or angry. She's not in her best mental state. So how was working this aspect of the character with <laughs> Mr. Shyamalan? It's, I mean, it's great. It's great. As an actor, there's nothing better than, uh, you know, trying to figure out how to play all these uh, complicated emotions and, and uh, heightened experiences that a human being can have. Uh, you know, I've never been in a thriller before. I've never been in anything scary, really. And uh, this was this has all been new to me, this kind of storytelling. Um, yeah, you know, it's been, it's really been an education. It's been, it's been great. Excellent. Thank you for that. So now, uh, by the way, I love your name. Um, I, you. I, last night I watched some episode of this uh, third season. And I can say that your character has adapted to the changes in the family di dynamics, uh, maybe yeah. as a result of the events of the second season, but what can we expect from, from Leanne uh, that you can share with us without revealing any, any spoilers, knowing that Mr. Knight masterful storytelling skills, I, I honestly have no idea what to expect. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. I think that we can expect a big change in Leanne, definitely a big shift uh, personality-wise for her. Uh, she has this newfound strength and also kind of this reverence about her and this anger. There's an anger brewing inside of her and it's it's ready to come out at any given moment. She's starting to get frustrated with the people around her. She's started to get frustrated with the lack of recognition with all that she's put herself through to help this family. And um, yeah, I think she's really starting to feel her power mm -hmm. and uh we get to see her exercise that power in a way that we haven't seen her use it before. And it's, I think it's going to be exciting. Thank you. Um, Lauren, this, this story presents the topic of, of motherhood from, from different perspectives, from the tender moments to the overprotective uh, uh, mother so that, that she does the impossible to protect uh, her children. So tell me a little bit about how was working this specific aspect of your character. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this this woman, this character I'm playing has definitely been through a lot. the worst possible things any mother could ever imagine, any human could ever imagine. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a it's a testament. All of the things she does, I think, are built on that she loves her child. She loves this baby so much that she'll do anything. Um, and, and she definitely makes some. Uh, she goes really pretty far. Uh, um, and as an actor, you know, I had to go pretty far with, uh, with some of the things I couldn't believe I was reading on the page. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. As a mother myself, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm glad I have that baseline to, uh, to, to go from because it's true. I mean, you do, you love your kids so much. You'll do anything. Should this lady takes it to a new level. Excellent. Thank you. So one last question now. This, this series has also um, very intense moments, some very physical, even violent. Um, um, how was working uh, those, those sequences and what do you do afterwards to release th that energy or maybe to, to detox from those violent uh, sequences? Yeah, I mean, they definitely take a lot of prep. They take a lot of practice. You sort of choreograph those violent moments like a dance so that everybody feels safe and everybody feels like they're in good hands, um, which I always do on this show, which is great. And then after they're done, you're so physically and emotionally exhausted. The only thing to do is to just like have a glass of wine and like <laughs> and and like watch the Vampire Diaries became my kind of routine and like eat like a truckload of pasta and then get ready to do it all again the next day <laughs> excellent thank you very much my time is up again congratulations on such, such a wonderful uh series and wonderful performances and lauren i cannot uh end without telling you that i love one of my favorites of all time is six feet under so thank you for that and, <laughs> and again happy holidays y gracias. thank you happy holidays happy holidays